Drugs meant to be for diabetics, but are helping many people lose weight fast, have made headlines for months. The benefits are no help to those who actually have diabetes when those using them are causing a shortage. We're joined now by Dr. Arshad Ali, a board-certified internal and obesity physician with Virginia Hospital Center. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Ali. Thanks so much for having me on. All right, so it has been months. I'm gonna ask you the question on top of everybody's mind. Why can't these drugs be produced in bare quantities? <laughs> it's a great question. Um, I think a lot of it has to do with just the manufacturing process. It has to be regulated by uh, the FDA and everything like that. So, you know, there's a huge demand. Um, these drugs work very well for multiple conditions. Um, so I think, you know, the, the, the manufacturing companies are, are working on that. So you, do you prescribe this to some of your patients looking to lose weight? Absolutely, yeah. So my, my practice is focused primarily on weight management, obesity treatment, metabolic disease. So these are some of the biggest guns we have uh, to kind of help in that fight. Many medications, they are developed for one thing, then found to help with other issues. Uh, that's not uncommon. Is that what happened here? This was developed for diabetics, but then is turned out to help with other things. Correct. I mean, there's been a lot of uh, research in the past you know, several decades on methodologies for weight management. Uh, these compounds were originally created primarily for use in, in treating diabetes, um, but there, there's been kind of concomitant research to, to use them for weight management as well. Is this for somebody who's looking to lose five, 10 pounds, you know, it's summer's almost over, but if they want to get into a bathing suit, something like that, or is this for uh, someone who is obese in the clinical sense? No, these are meant for treatment of clinical obesity, uh, which as we know is, is a disease. There's medical consensus on that. Um, so this is not meant to be kind of a short-term solution. Um, and even for treatment in, in patients with, with medical clinical obesity, uh, it's a tool. Uh, at the end of the day, diet, healthy diet, exercise, these are crucial parts of the treatment process. Um, but the medicine is a tool to kind of help with that. What are you telling your patients who can't get their hands on this medication? And, you know, there's it's a bunch of different Wegovi, Manjaro, Zetbound, um, a lot of the same type of medications. But what are you telling your patients if they can't get a hold of any of these? Yeah, it's certainly been a challenge. Um, you know, we, we do have a few other medications in different classes that we can also use to help with uh, obesity management. Um, so it's sometimes a little bit a game of just figuring out what we can use to kind of help get them through the shortage, um, ad ad adjusting doses, um, and really kind of working as a uh, to create a comprehensive plan. Because that's really the the key here is that these medicines are not like magic bullets. They don't, you know, you may lose weight if you just take them, but you're not going to maximize the benefit in terms of improving your body composition without having a, a full dietary plan, a behavioral management plan. Um, and so here at VHC, we have a, a whole comprehensive center where we have dietitians, psychologists, we even have surgeons and, and procedural specialists because the treatment of obesity is, is sometimes a very complex thing, even though it seems simple, you just, you know, trying to get the, the, the numbers down on the scale, but there's a lot of uh, psychosocial factors that go into it. So a medicine is just a part of that plan. And my last question for you before I let you go, uh, some people have been asking doctors if this is okay for teenagers who might be overweight. What's your take on that? Yeah, it's FDA approved for treatment of, I believe over 12, um, a, a, over age 12. Um, and un unfortunately, you know, increasingly in the United States, pediatric obesity is, is uh, you know, the rates are rising and it's an increasing problem. Um, so that is an option uh, for certain patients who, who meet specific diagnostic criteria. Dr. Arshad Ali with VHC Health, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Thanks so much for having me.